Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Melissa Spillman and um, I share my doll collection here on Let's Play Dolls on YouTube and on Instagram is my personal collection. And I'm a sculptor and an artist over at Spillman Sweeties on Facebook and Instagram. So that's where you can find me. And um, today we're going to be changing baby Jonah for a special event. Just can't wait to talk to you about that. We're going to change Jonah into the sleeper with whales all over it. Because, you know, Jonah and the whale, the Bible story. Well, when I saw these whale pajamas, I just had to get them for them. Hope they fit okay. They look way too big, but that's okay. I maybe should have got the preemie. But Jonah here is going to be among three dolls in my collection that are going to go visit a nursing home tomorrow. So that's pretty cool. Um, they're going to be doing some cuddle therapy with some local residents. And we're so excited. We're so excited to go give them some cuddles. Yeah. And I think Jonah is going to be one that they love because he's peaceful, he's sleeping, and he's small. He's lightweight and small. He did have a very heavy head, and I just removed that. I needed to fix that not only for this event, but for myself because I weighted his head too heavy. So now he's all fine and dandy. Trying to cut this tag off with my zip tie cutters. <laughs> oh, that's not going to work. I got some scissors, though, with my little thing. What are those baskets? What is, what is that called? The baskets that we all have. We all have a basket or a bucket or something next to us while we make these videos. With stuff inside that we might need, like a hairbrush and um, scissors and whatnots. What is that? A whatnot basket? Anyway, I am very excited. This is a dream of mine to be able to go to the nursing home with my doll collection and share them. Um, so that's going to be fun. We're looking forward to it. And we'll let you know how it all goes. The goal is to bring my own sculptures, my one-of-a-kind dolls, but none of them are ready yet. I'm still painting Jana. Baby Neil needs varnished and all that stuff. So, and air dry has like a 72 hour wait time, which is three days when you put that varnish and stuff on. So, of course, I don't have the time to get that done before this event. But we have one scheduled for next month, too, at a different facility. So... I'm very excited to start a cuddle therapy program here in my hometown. Now, look at that. That is why I don't <laughs> like zipper sleepers. Because he's got a tent. He could house a whole fairy, fairy party under his sleeper. Look at that. It's so bulky. It's so bulky. But I think it looks really sweet regardless once you put it all down. He's so cute. I might keep his hands covered. You know, so he don't scratch his face. He's got a little scratch. And it just protects his painting and vinyl while he's being loved on. I'm very excited to bring him. I think he's going to be a real big hit. He is one of my favorites. I want to, after I'm done sculpting the next two, I'm going to be painting some dolls. That I can take um, to the nursing home because I don't have I don't have very many sleeping reborns. Can you believe it? I got two. That's it, two. Well, and I got my clay babies, so we're gonna see how it goes. How gentle everyone is. I'm sure they're gonna be just gentle, just gentle, huh? Oh, and we're gonna wrap them in this blanket. And I'm going to say, hey, can you help me hold my baby for a little bit? And they're going to enjoy his snuggles. 
Yeah, it's going to really help the memory care unit, I think. So, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Yeah. God is good. God provides lots of opportunities for us to do good throughout our community. Not a reflection of ourselves. This isn't... This event that I'm doing is not a... Re I don't want the attention drawn on myself. I want... You to feel inspired to go out into your own and see what you could do with what you've been given. We've been given these precious baby dolls. And they could help so many people if we just reach out into our local nursing homes and do some cuddle therapy sessions and talk with them and, you know, kind of adopt a grandparent thing. For me, it's big because I miss my grandparents so much. And this is a way that uh, I'll be surrounded by love and be able to give and receive love so that'd be fun well um so i'm gonna take jonah and i'm gonna take baby jeremiah he looks so sweet too so we're gonna take baby jeremiah as well so let me bundle jonah up here so we're gonna take baby jeremiah and then we're also gonna take a baby you haven't seen for a little bit but I think will be a big hit. We're going to take Honey. Look at her. I think she's going to be fun. Because you can hold her hands and bounce her on your lap. And she, you can't, you can't help but talk to that face. So I think she'll be a lot of fun. So those are the three babies that I plan on taking. I don't know if you can even see them right now. But these are the three. I'm going to take two boys and a little girl. Yeah. This is my first little cuddle crew. Are we going to be a cuddle crew? We need onesies that say cuddle crew. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, I'm sure. So I'm going to take a Paradise Galleries, an Ashton Drake, and a Reborn. And I think this is all my hands are going to be able to carry. So um, it will be a lot of fun. And I hope that you are having a lovely week. I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. I sure did. We went to a little event. You know the summer camp that I went and volunteered at? Um, it's for kids that are um, in foster care or have one or both parents in a prison. Incarcerated. And so there's a summer camp for this and we just love on these kids and we show them the love of Jesus and everything. Well, they had a fundraiser because all those kids go to camp free, but camp isn't free, but they go to camp free. So they have fundraisers throughout the thing. Well, they did a Valentine's dinner fundraiser and it was so fun. It was candlelit. We got set with other lovely people and we played charades as a big group. Oh, it was so fun. And it was a four-course meal. It was like chicken parm on like um, a bed of fettuccine and asparagus. Oh, the asparagus was great. And a breadstick. Um, they had salad and these little shish kebabs with, you know, mozzarella and a tomato. And then they had this cake for dessert that was like, it's I don't know how to pronounce it. Tasumi. Tasumi, I think you know what I'm talking about. It's a real moist, milky cake. And it had a raspberry on the side. Oh, it was just beautiful. It was lovely. And there was games to play. There was dancing. We did the photo booth. And it was just a really fun. We didn't have to fight, you know, city traffic. It was just, or anything. We had reservations. We didn't have to sit and wait in a long line for, um, and, you know, hour plus wait because everybody was, you know, probably going to the big city. But anyway, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So we had a lovely time there. But we, we were exhausted when we got home. We went right to bed. But I didn't sleep good at all last night. I just, I think, I asked for decaf coffee at the table. And I think maybe they gave me a regular coffee. Um, I had to make sure you were going. 
<laughs> anyway, I think they gave me a uh, regular coffee because I, I was so tired and I was so comfortable under my blankets last night in my sweet spot. You know, that sweet spot in bed where you, ah, that spot, I was in that spot and everything, but I could hear everything that was going on around the house and I couldn't fall asleep. So I don't know what the problem was. Anyway, that's ladies barking. That's my cue, I guess, to get off. <laughs> I'll talk to you all later. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Please go participate in my tag. Let's get that up and going. Let's get some positive, supportive topics going on in the community with, um, you know, support for our artists and the fight against counterfeits, you know, um, not fighting with people against counterfeits, but just making people aware, pushing out information because there's a lot of misinformation about um, counterfeits and why they're okay. And they're not. It's never okay. Stolen art is never okay. Um, it's not just China that is stealing. It's the Germany companies too that when you go and manufacture, they're stealing too. So, I mean, it's just all over. And it's not just with dolls. It's artists that are creating art online. I mean... It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy right now. So there is a petition you can sign today, as far as I know. I think I can put the link up here, though. I'll put the link in the in the video, I think. I think I can. If not, it's over on my in my stories on Instagram. But it's a link. It's a petition to sign to um, against Timu stealing artist's work. Because Timu is really bad about stealing it right now. So it's a petition against that. And you can just put your signature on that and support art. So, all right. Well, that's all I got for you today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. God bless you. I hope to be back with more videos. So have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.